Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality. And in this video, we're going to go over connecting to a PostgreSQL database using Cypress. This was actually uh, requested by a viewer, and I thought it'd make a really good video for everyone. So let's jump right into it. Let's go into the setup first, just to show you what I've done. So I've created my own server with a new database called Testing. And inside Testing, I have a topics table with two columns and then you can see from here it's called topics and videos and we've got three rows which just contain some data if i run this all is working as expected i've set up myself a new uh, login user called commit quality and i'm just using local host and we can if i go into this i can see the properties which I have the port number and everything of 5432, and I've set up like a basic password. That's the kind of setup, and all I want to do in this video is connect to this testing database, and then I want to, I want to be able to retrieve the data that lives inside this topics table. And then obviously you can do what you want with it at that point. You can assert things, you can you know grab specific values, whatever you want to do. So let's jump into Cypress and get started with this. So first thing we want to do is install the Postgres package. So npm install pg. Let's let that run. And while that's installing, just pg is a non-blocking PostgreSQL client for Node.js, basically pure JavaScript. Awesome. So that's installed. So if I go to the package JSON, we can see we have that now as a dependency. Next then, uh, using Cypress 10, we want to go into the Cypress config file. And inside here is where I'm going to store the setup of um, my database objects that includes the user, host, database, password, and port. So I already have those. So I'm just going to post, copy those in and paste them in rather than having you watch. So still inside the end-to-end uh, -end object, we're going to say DB, and we set that up. Oh, of course, because I'm missing a comma. We've set that up. So you can have whatever you want in here, but you basically want this object with a user, a host, database, password, and the port you're using. In my case, this is what we go in, which is what we just went through. Of course, very secret password there. Next, then, we want to create a task, which is basically going to say we want to um, read from the database and we want to create a client and execute some SQL. As simple as that, really. So let's just make some comments so we go around. So um, I'm going to say, first of all, on, and we want to create a task. And then we can decide what we want to do inside this in a second. We want to say, first of all, create a task, take two params, first be in config, so the database config we've got down here, which is what we'll pass through in the test. And second is SQL, which is the SQL we're going to execute. So in here, then, I'm just going to name my task uh, read from db. And inside here, like I said, we're going to take in these two arguments, which is going to be, uh, I guess I could say db config and SQL, which makes sense to me. So inside this, then, we want to perform what we need to do. So first of all, we want to create a client using the config argument object. And then we want to return something. So return the results from the SQL. So how do we do that? Well, it makes it really easy using this uh, PG NPM package. We can say const client, and we'll say equals new PG dot pool, and then, oh, new pg uh, of course it's not bringing it in because we haven't required it yet we haven't imported it in so that's at the top say const pg equals require and then we're going to bring in pg okay that makes a lot more sense so pg dot pool there we can see now and in the pool we want to pass through whatever the config is in this case it's going to be that db config argument that we've created up here and then down below, we just want to return whatever was returned from that SQL. So we can say return client.query. And we'll just pass through the SQL argument, which is uh, performed at the top up here. And that's it. So we've got our config set up. And of course, you could have hard coded that inside here if you wanted. But I've just put it inside this end-to-end uh, -end object for now. 
and we've created our task so now we can call this task and then we can work with the results so let's go into the example side.js and all i've done here is create a simple test i've named a database te database test nothing more is done at this point in time so now what we want to do is we want to um, call the task that we just created so call the task so to do this we can say side.task and then we have to use the name so it was read from db then inside here what we want to do is we want to set up the config say what the sql we want to perform is and then we want to do something with the results so we'll say get config from cypress.config.js and then we want to say sql we want to perform which is what's going to get passed through to this task so let's do that we can say db config which was the name of that argument we created and we can say cypress.config and in here is just what we named it so we named it db so let's pass that through great and then we just want to do the sql and in this case we're just going to do sql and it's going to be a very basic one which is going to be select uh, star from topics and that should be enough to spit out what we've just seen before i'm missing the comment up here that's why that's not liking it and then we can basically do something with the result so i can say then use the then method and we can say uh result pull back there and we'll basically say um let's just output it all i'm not going to do any assertions i'm just going to show you how you can access it and you can perform whatever assertions you need so i'll say result.rows which will give us all of the um rows after the that sql has performed which we are expecting to see three going off what i have in my database here and on top of that i'll show you how you can access a single row and the values inside as well so that should give you a good start to all of this let's just copy this and we can say to get the first row we can say bracket zero which is index zero which is the first row and we can even say then topics which was the name of the first column and i believe the name of the second one was videos let me just double check that before we execute this yep we had topics and videos great so that's it what we've done here is we've called our task that we've just created we've specified where the config is coming from in this case it's coming from the cypress.config.js file we've said what we want the sql to perform is which in this case is just a simple select all from the topics and then we've gathered the result and we work in on what we want to do. So inside here is where you could do your assertions or whatever else you want to do. So let's try this out then. Let's say npx cypress open. Okay, brilliant. Let's say end-to-end -end testing uh, electron and we'll start. I think the file just sits, sits outside all folders as well. So I've also opened up the um, inspector and gone to console so we can see those console.log statements. So if I scroll down to example, okay, there we are. It's executed it. We've connected to the database because we can see it's uh, all gone green. And if we go into the console.log here, you can see the three rows that we're expecting have now been output. So we've got Cypress, Git, and Playwright with YNY for videos. And then we can also see Cypress, which is the first element and the first row with the value of topics is Cypress. And we've got Y for the value of videos. And it's as simple as that is to set up and connect and query a Postgres QL database. As always, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Uh, like and subscribe is appreciated. It helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching and have a good day.